Welcome back, everybody. Well, the weekend is almost here, and we are ready to start making plans for some fun. And here to share his top three picks for happenings around town is PTL Weekend Guide, Sean Collier. Sean, without you, every day would just feel like Tuesday. Oh, that's so kind of you, and, <laughs> and happy to provide I, a penguin-centric list of events to keep you busy this weekend. Yeah, and we are going to start with the real deal at the zoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are some uh, events when uh, looking up what's going on for this segment that I see the title and I think, yeah, that'll be fine. One such phrase is penguins on parade. I don't need to know <laughs> mm -hmm. the details. I don't need to know when, how much. Penguins on parade. We're there. Uh, this is a, uh, a, a occasional feature at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. The spring edition of Penguins on Parade will be this Saturday and Sunday at 11:30 a.m. Uh, it is 11:30 a.m. sharp. The penguins apparently, you know, work on a very strict timetable. <laughs> so make sure that you. Uh, if you head out, you make it to the entrance patio of the aquarium there. I know that they have uh, COVID protocols in place, of course. I think this is going to look a little different from last editions. You may be paraded past the penguins. I like that too. It's like you're going down a row in the supermarket and there's penguins on the shelves. That's nice as well. Uh, but the best part, this is included with your zoo admission. The, the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium being reopened again, this is really one of those things that as long as you mask up, don't get too close, don't linger, you can feel pretty good about as, a, as an outing right now. And uh, a great way to enhance it with some Penguins on parade. <laughs> that phrase is just perfect. That's branding right there. It really is. You know what's interesting? What you just said that the people might be paraded past them. Because what are the pe to the penguins, what does this look like? Right. You know, to the penguins, it's like people on parade. They might probably it's very interesting. Yeah. All right, so your your next event is actually your non penguin event, right? And this is maybe for fans right. of Frida Frida Kahlo, right? At the Frick? Yes, yes. Uh, the iconic artist uh, is the subject of not one but two new exhibitions uh, at the Frick Pittsburgh. Frida Kahlo and Intimate Portrait uh, is a, a very rare chance to look at some photos from her personal collection. This is over a hundred photos drawn from her journals and her belongings. Uh, and that'll be paired uh, with an ex exhibition called Through the Lens of Nicholas Murray, photographs taken of the artist uh, by a, a friend and confidant. Those are both at the Frick. Uh, again, speaking of COVID safe activities, there's timed ticketing. Again, masks are required, social distancing. Museums, one of those things that as long as you keep moving and don't linger too long, not the worst, uh, uh, not the riskiest thing in the world and a great exhibition to check it out. Now, if you're a Frick member, two important things to know. One, there will be virtual at home online gallery talks on Monday to learn a little bit more about the exhibition. Uh, and as well, if you're a member, these exhibits are free. All of the special exhibits at the Frick are free for members. I do recommend it. If you play your cards right as a member at the Frick, you can convince yourself that you live there for a little while. <laughs> you stroll the grounds, you sit down for lunch with great service, and you're like, this is my life. Yes, I live in this mansion. I like how you think, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then coming up this weekend, you know, we're, we've been reporting this on the news as, as things are uh, getting back a little bit, slowly mm -hmm. but surely. Um, the Pens are welcoming, welcoming back fans. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting uh, moment. Um, you know, there's a lot to consider when deciding whether or not you feel comfortable going for live sports, uh, even with the limited capacity. But what's really exciting is this is the first that fans will watch live sports in Pittsburgh in a year. Regardless of the circumstances, that's good news and a sign of a, a, a lot of progress. Fans who visit uh, PPG Paints Arena, which will be open at 15% capacity tonight and Saturday, pens against the Flyers, uh, a Sunday as well. I think that's the Rangers. I, uh, sorry if I'm incorrect about the opponent there. You'll be the first people to see uh, a newly renovated PPG Paints Arena. One of the big things you'll notice, you'll see it right there, classic scan, pay, go. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, like a lot of newer arenas, this is going to be focused on you going and grabbing your food and being able to scan it yourself, almost like the self-checkout at a supermarket, and pay and be on your way. We're kind of starting to do away with, you know, the long line for food. You can kind of grab what you want and get back to your seat in a hurry. And what that's going to do right now is make for a contactless uh contactless experience. If you are going, there's a lot to look into right. uh, with these changes. 
There's no cash accepted at the state at the arena anymore. You have to bring a, a card or Google Pay. They can give you an ATM card there if you need to use it. You can't take a physical ticket. All of the uh, ticketing is mobile on your device. So check out the Penguins website. They're going to walk you through everything you need to know, including a lot of uh, um, extra considerations for COVID. Masks are required, everything like that, especially if you already are vaccinated. Um, you know, this is going to be a great way to get back into the world. If you're not, again, there's a lot to consider, but if you double mask, if you make sure you keep your distance, if you do the timed uh, entry that they recommend on the website, again, this is not something that's the most risky thing you can possibly do. So think about it carefully, but for some people, it's a return to live sports in Pittsburgh this weekend, and yeah. that's, that's exciting. You know, we've been seeing that, too, with a lot of the different openings and reopenings, just the considerations that are going in. Sean, thank you so much for your insight and for some ideas for this weekend. Thank you. I'll try to keep it penguin free next week, but no problem. <laughs> no right. promise. We like penguins. It's OK. <laughs> All right. Sean Collier, regular PTL contributor, always contributing to the success of our weekend. <laughs> That's for